My name is Allie Hilfiger. My name is James Maskell. I'm Dr. Robin Verzen. My name is Max Lugavir. My name is Sahara Rose. I'm Elisa Vitti. My name is Carly Smith. I get well be by making sure I get enough sleep, drinking enough water, and being happy. I get well be by connecting with other people. You know, I feel that, uh, you know, it, there's a lot of research to show now that social stress is the biggest driver of death and disease and mortality. So I think, you know, the power of human to human connection. If you look at the blue zones and you look at the healthiest people in the world, there's a real power of community there. And I'm hell bent for the next decade on helping to fuse community and medicine. And so, you know, that starts with me. Well, I get well be by a few things. Uh, when I'm totally out of whack and I'm stressed out and I was traveling and I wasn't eating as well as I should have been and not sleeping enough, I know exactly what my tools are. So my well-be toolkit, I guess you could say, are include yoga. Yoga is my reset. It just helps my body realign and relieve stress and feel strong. Uh, Eating, uh, I generally eat a gluten-free, dairy-free, very low-sugar diet, so getting back on that, if I've been off it, it immediately makes me feel better. Uh, taking a little magnesium at bedtime just helps me sleep, helps me relax, and getting that full eight hours, for me sometimes even eight and a half hours of sleep, I have to get sleep or I am not a functional person. Uh, so those are my core things that I do, and then lately I've been experimenting with inter intermittent fasting and keto, and so put a pin in that and I'll get back to you. I get well be by every single day waking up and getting some bright light exposure, going out, you know, stepping out onto my terrace and making sure that I'm taking in the light of day, really important for anchoring my body's circadian rhythm, imbuing my day with as much movement as I possibly can, not being static, um, really voting with my, with my wallet and making sure that I'm only putting the best, most, you know, high quality food that I can afford uh, into this system. I get well be by stretching my body every single morning. I really feel like when my body's open, my mind is open and I'm so much more open to creative ideas and when my body feels stuck and heavy, I'm not as open in my life. I get well be by really like locking in my morning routine. So it's a little bit of water in the morning to get things moving, a little bit of stretching, a lot of cuddling with my toddler to get her ready for school and then we take this beautiful walk together to school and I and then I have a, a nice little half an hour of my own walking home where I'll, you know, just call a friend and I try to front load my morning with things that boost my joy factor because that sets off a whole chain of, you know, chemical conversation in my body that really boosts immunity and boosts endocrine performance and you know cognitive performance so it's really about pleasure first thing in the morning for me and that's a I think an important micronutrient that's overlooked. I get well be by drinking bone broth every day, taking Epsom salt baths, managing my stress levels and practicing yoga.